Ellie, take any banana that you'd like to. Peel it, please. Just to make sure that it's a regular banana, OK? OK? You can eat it because I, the only speaker that brings the dessert. OK? It's all right? Good one. Put it here. Now, you can do like this. Just ask the children not to try, OK? Now, we want to use this fire in order to change it to a ultra banana laser beam. <laughs> Take this one. I'm using my laser. I don't touch the banana. And I ask you to peel it. If something happens, shows uh, the audience. What happened? Huh? It is cut to all kinds of uh, fruit salad, you see. <laughs> you come to Ali, he doesn't use any plates, he just opened the banana and you see it's cut completely in very accurate laser beam. Thank you. Uh, it's quite clear that the fire actually caused the, ba the, the banana to be cut. But where it was happening? It didn't happen here. It happened in our mind. Of course, there is no connection between the fire and the banana. The fire is made in our mind as part of our fixations. There are a lot of other examples in our daily life that I won't elaborate now, but you should know that they are there.